Um, I've been traveling the world for 45 years and uh, I've seen a lot of terrible things and I've seen a lot of wonderful things, interesting people, interesting cultures. Uh, I think the future of our planet is, it's, I think it, I hope, I'm an optimist, I think things can in the end work out, but it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of struggle. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, negative forces in the world, a lot of evil in the world that needs to be, you know, fought against. And I hope that uh, we can pull together for the environment, for race, against racism, against so many things which really uh, pull us down as a, as a planet. I've never really had any favorite pictures of mine. Maybe some of my most favorite pictures are taken by other photographers. <laughs> but with my work, um, you know, you like different pictures for different reasons. So I can't really point to one photograph and say, aha, that's, that's really my favorite one. Well, my next step is, um, planning to do a book on uh, Buddhism, Buddhist cultures, Buddhist countries, uh, practicing Buddhism in different countries, uh, Tibet, different parts of Asia, Japan, the U.S., uh, in fact, all over the world. So that's really my interesting, uh, my next interesting project that I'm going to be working on. Well, I'm, uh, I've loved working in uh, Italy. Uh, I loved being in Italy over the past. My first trip to Italy was in 1970. So I've been here many times and enjoyed uh, the culture and the people and the art and the food and the wine. It's uh, one of the, my most favorite places in the world. Till the day is new. Till the day is I've worked with many great people over the years, assistants and translators and guides. Uh, other photographers, so it's been uh, interesting to work, and most of the time I'm working with people, local people, people that live in the place that I'm working. For me, the act of photographing and the photograph on the printed page uh, hasn't changed at all really for me. Of course the way pictures are marketed, uh, magazines, newspapers, uh, the way photographs are disseminated around the world now of course is usually digital you know, online. We look at pictures in the, on the computer. So that's a big difference. But I work mostly with books and exhibitions so although I have a website and I uh, have a blog and Instagram, most of my uh, heart is in the printed page and in, in exhibitions. Well, I think with photography, when you're photographing people, uh, it takes a while to become comfortable with them, for them to be comfortable with you, to establish uh, some kind of a relationship, uh, some chemistry, some connection. And uh, after a while, you start to uh, have this relationship, and it, it, it ends up being uh, hopefully a you know, good picture. When I'm not photographing, I like to read, uh, listen to music, uh, I love films. Um, I still like to travel even if I'm not working. This is my passion, so I, I've never stopped traveling. <laughs> the, the, the success of that picture or why this picture's become uh, famous is really a question probably left better to uh, an art critic or a historian or uh, yeah, I think that, uh, I think it's any, you know, you can speculate, but it's hard to really 
know the reason. Yeah, I, there's a lot of reasons, I suppose. Well, there's always inequality. There's not an inequality between, you know, Asia or certain parts of the world. There's inequality, uh, you know, everywhere. Um, and I think that uh, hopefully, I think the world is changing and hopefully we'll be able to alleviate poverty and this drastic, uh, the, this extreme disparity between rich and poor, but uh, we're not there yet. But it's not just a sort of east-west thing. It's also just, a, it's, it happens everywhere. Well, I think change and, and progress, uh, you know, the world moves on. You, progress, uh, change is unstoppable. Uh, inevitably, there's change which we just have to adjust to. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad, but uh, one thing that's certain is the, uh, you know, we're, it's, we're, the, the world is, is a temporary, uh, it, it, this is, the time is finite. We, you know, we have to live our lives the best way we can because uh, there's an impermanence to life, which means we're all gonna die and things are gonna, you know, so, uh, no, I think uh, this is, you have to accept it and move on.